fusion. Fusion! Um, nuclear bombs, like hydrogen bombs, and uh, now we hope the nuclear power stations of the future, where you get uh, isotopes of hydrogen. So hydrogen usually has one proton, nothing else. But one in a million hydrogens has one proton, one neutron, called deuterium. And one in a trillion hydrogens has one proton, two neutrons, called tritium, T-R-I. Tri means three. Deuterium and tritium, which you can get from water, from the sea, from the lakes, from the rivers. You get them together, heat them up to fantastic temperatures, incredible technology. This is why it's taken like 70 years for us to be able to do this slowly. Everybody working hard, making the science better, the technology better. Seems like by about 2050 we might get some fusion electricity. It's nuclear power doesn't cause any carbon dioxide. It works 24 hours a day, unlike uh, solar and wind, because you, know, you have to wait for the wind and the sun. And everybody can get hold of some. You've got to take the technology right. So far, in 2021, the only fusion we've got is fusion bombs, hydrogen bombs, a whole bunch of deuterium and tritium in the center, set off a nuclear bomb around it, Heat it up, squashes it down, then the fusion happens. The tritiums and the deuteriums squash together to make bigger atoms, giving enormous amounts of energy. Uh, and fusion is how the sun works. The sun turns the hydrogens from the Big Bang, because all hydrogens were made in the Big Bang, even your hydrogens were made in the Big Bang, in your H2Os, every hydrogen in the universe was made just after the Big Bang, 13.7 um, billion years ago. They squashed together under huge temperatures and pressures in the centre of the sun to make larger atoms, like helium. And as the sun gets older, it will make bigger and bigger things, bigger and bigger atoms by fusion. All of your atoms were made by hydrogens fusing together to make the carbon and the nitrogen and the oxygen that make you. You're the product of fusion.